As we dig deeper into our spiritual antidotes, we look deeper into our own souls. Let's get to know our souls. Get to know thyself. Because unless you know your soul, you never really know yourself. We know a lot about our bodies. We know our bodies are made up of limbs and organs and different systems. We're told today what makes for a healthy body, the vitamins, the nutrients, the exercises, the hygiene. We know a lot about the body. There's still much to learn about, it, especially the brain, the mind, but the body is pretty much covered extensively. The soul, on the other hand, is if I asked you, what does your soul look like? Do you have an X-ray of your soul? We have X-rays of bodies. We have CAT scans. We have different monitoring. What does the soul look like? So let's get to know the soul. So we're focusing on the components of the soul. The mystics explain, just like the body has parts, the soul also has parts, it's just, except it's not physical parts. It's sublime parts. It's abstract. Think of it like subatomic particles. So you can look at an object, let's say a piece of wood or water. So it's made up of elements. Water is made up of elements. It's made up of H2O, hydrogen and oxygen. Then you look at other elements. The molecules in turn are broken down into atoms. Atoms are broken down into subatomic particles, which are invisible to the eye. And yet we know this is the, these are the building blocks that make everything tick. And the same thing in the human body. You can have limbs and organs, but then they have, we have the breakdown into the cellular structure and the subcellular DNA, the genetic raw material. And the same thing just as an example in computers. You may have the interface and type on a screen, but there's a language behind that. There's a language behind that all the way back to zeros and ones. So to know, to know your soul is to get to know the subatomic energy called the spiritual DNA of who you are. So at this period in time, when there's less focus on so-called the reliant institutions that the body and the material world was so dependent on, it's a good time to get to know your soul. Your home, perhaps. You're working from home. You have more time on your own. Not so much social because of social distancing. Get to know yourself. Ask yourself, what makes me tick? And that's what we'll be focusing on the next spiritual antidotes. So the first thing I want to point out is what makes you tick is that we're made up of 10 building blocks. That's how the mystics put it. Three intellectual ones and seven emotional ones. And we'll discuss them in the next antidote.